Good afternoon. Robert Davis with you. Nice to have you here, all you Delphi gurus. And uh, what we're going to do today is make a pie chart in Delphi. It's not that hard. And uh, so let's get right to it. Let's go over here to Delphi. And I'll show you what we're going to do. And then we'll do it. So here it is. It's pie chart of population by state of the United States. And uh, you can see it. it's got the whole legend of all 50 states plus Puerto Rico. Here's Puerto Rico right here. So let's get started on how to get this done. Okay, what I'm going to do is take this off of here. And you all know how to do your ADO connection and table. I'm using a Microsoft Access table that has population by state. I extracted that from the US Census download of an XLS and converted it to um, uh, a new Microsoft Access table of two columns. So here we go. What we're going to do first, uh, I'll show you where we're at with the ADO connections. I used the wizard to build it for uh, MS Access. You, the provider has to be uh, Microsoft Jet 4.0 OLEDB. And the connection goes to population by state MDB. Test the connection, everything's good. And then go over here to table one and we assign the connection, ADO connection one to the table. Then we go down here and get the table name. That's right here. And see if we can activate it. Yes, we can. We have the uh, right click and go to fields editor. Here are the fields, ID, state, population. So we don't need that. Okay, let's get ourselves a chart. Uh, DB chart is what we're looking under T chart standard and double click on that and we'll align this to the client and take up the whole page with it and whenever we resize it it'll resize with the client so uh, what we're going to do is edit the chart and so to do this, you need to click the Add button and pick your chart type. We're going to do Pi. And uh, we can double click on this. And we want to go to a data source. You see it's got some data in there already that just makes up on its own. But uh, we want to click this drop down and go to data set and then in the data set we want to pick ADO tape 1 and the labels will be state and the pi will be population we'll click close yes we want to apply changes uh, let's see and on the, oh, let's turn uh, this on. We might be able to see what we're doing. Yeah, there we, we see it. And also I want to change the title of the chart. So click on the chart itself. Go down here to title. Here we go. And instead of, TDB chart, I'm going to say 
population by state. United States of America. And um, let's see. Now, I don't need to edit that there. Um, we'll close this. You see, we got our title up here. But now, I don't really like that color. So I'm going to expand title and go to font and pick a better color than the blue. That blue has been worn out over the years. Um, I'll just do a medium gray. Now that's too light. Uh, gray head, so that's fine. That's fine. And uh, you see here that we can uh, turn this off and on, and uh, it's using the data that we have in the table. So let's run this and see what we get. There we go. It aligns the client. I have Windows set to maximize. So everything's visible. Here's the little state of Puerto Rico. It's got over 3 million people. 3.725 million people. California is the most populated state. Although they're leaving fast. Texas is the second most. And they're growing because the Californians are coming. <laughs> so anyway. Um, well, I forgot what I was going to do. It wasn't important anyway. Um, so there you have a simple pie chart. You're dealing with two, two rows of data, the states and their populations respectively. Get a nice legend here. You can turn the legend off if you want to. Let's go see how that's done. Um, uh, let's see. Does it have a legend on there? Yes, it does. Uh, what are the settings? No, not that. Oh, visible, false, and then run it. And there we have no legend that's got the labels anyway. Um, but some of them, it doesn't get the label because of the spacing requirements. Um, so like this one, if we didn't have the legend, we wouldn't know what it was. So let's go back and reset that to visible true. And then run this. And this is the state that doesn't have the state name posted, but we can see just by rolling over it over here on the right hand side on a legend that's a state of Louisiana. Um, there's there's more that do this. Uh, let's see, this one is. Uh, Missouri. So you don't get every state listed on the pie itself, but you do get it in the legend and they're hot linked so that when you roll over it, uh, you can see on the legend on the right what state it is and the population and numbers. So there you have it. It's just that simple. I knew it couldn't be that hard. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've really enjoyed making it for you. 
and uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.